Hey everyone, okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I do to my skin to get ready for filming. So I look a bit better than I do. So we're going to use a filter in this as well, but just for fun. Uh, this will probably be the last one, but it's just for a bit of fun. But I'm only going to manipulate it a fraction so you can kind of see the difference, but not glaringly, because I think it's such an interesting topic. So the first thing I'm going to do is brighten up my face with a light, which makes a big difference. Then I'm going to turn on the side lights and this means that I'm no longer in shadow and also just look dramatically more beautiful, obviously. So the first thing I do is I put colour on my face. So I'm going to be using um, Bright Poppy, which is my blusher palette, shameless link in the description bar. And I'm going to apply this relatively heavily in this kind of section here, right on the bridge of the nose, a little bit into the temple and a little bit just above the eyebrow. And then I'm going to take a powder foundation and I'm just going to buff this now all over the face. And it just gives a very quick, easy application. And I just look better than I do without it. There's no doubt, I mean, you know, skin looks usually more polished when there's something on it. And I'm not being particularly careful because I don't need to be. And I get, I get really red right around here. So sometimes I forget it in videos and then I see it and it's just glaring. And I'm using um, Laura Geller Balance and Brighton. And you see that the colour now is coming through the skin with the, um, the blusher. So what I then do is I move and I get a bit of a setting spray and I just coat the skin with a touch of that just to get rid of any of the excess powder residue and then I'm ready to film. And it's that quick. My, my routine for filming is very simple. It's just two products just to even out the skin tone. But I hope you found this a little bit interesting looking at the um, filter side is only a fraction, but it's enough to give more of an illusion of a beautiful face, of a smoother face, a more airbrush face than it is truly without. Now, of course, lighting makes a big difference. I've got a very, very large light in front of me in a sort of a hexagon and these two side lights as well. So you can see when I turned the screen up and down, it made a massive difference. So there you go. So if you're wondering sometimes why your skin and you do not look quite the same as um, some of the people that you may or may not be watching or from large companies, lighting, filters, it's just the way it is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.